right, hello everyone. Here we're back for another Golf Clash tutorial, Paris Hole 7 again, par 4. And hopefully we can get a little bit different wind. Looks like we did. So this should be much more favorable when you have wind pointed like this to be able to get the ball down here. What I'm going to pretty much recommend is that you try to bump it into this rough and just let it trickle through would be kind of nice. So just something to be thinking about uh, as you're playing through this shot. So I'm going to try to go, you know, relatively full, maybe about five rings in this situation. Somewhere right in here. Uh, I'm not going to go full, but I'm going to go relatively full. And I'm going to try to just kind of gently get it over to this other side. Let's see how this turns out. Ah, so not quite enough wind. Um, let's try to put some numbers to what I was trying to do there. And, uh, you know, right around here, more or less. 6.4 maybe. Five rings. Um, I probably should have went a little bit more because I wanted to have, you know, especially going into overpower, maybe, you know, six rings. Uh, would be pretty much spot on, but I was trying to get very aggressive and try to bump it into that little fairway crest over there Just to give yourself a very good angle However, you know, I don't want you to be you know terrified of this rough because it's going to give me a very good angle So it's really not a big deal breaker to me um, It's it certainly beats the bunker So keeping it a little bit shorter and you can see that we're gonna have a very nice angle here So I'm not you know too terribly concerned um, into a headwind like that, I'm going to do a little bit of extra. So here you're going to see that I'm going to use 15% and maybe about 50%, 40% for my land zone. <clears throat> right around here, 2.6 rings or so. I'm just going to let the ball guide kind of go through the hole. I'm going to try to miss that little knob if I can kind of come at the pin like this and just missing the perfect ball but you can see that it should be you know a very straightforward uh, very makeable shot it looks like I can almost come back and just use that backstop kind of intentionally too so very good uh, opportunity there to kind of get it multiple times so you might want to almost set up your speed perfectly to where it, uh, you know, still has, you know, it's coming in pretty slow to where if you hit the pin, it'll go in. But with that great ball to the right, it almost seems like, uh, especially if you get the angle down, that you can hopefully get that speed up the hill just right to where it would come back and roll into the cup. So a couple of different ways to, to play this one. And you can see how challenging definitely going over to, towards this side could be. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, so it popped over. So this is going to be a very gettable hole. You can see that it almost went in and that one actually had enough momentum to come back and it actually made it back to the hole. But popping over the hole, it missed. So a little unlucky break there. Um, you're really going to want to be getting this one on the tournament, it looks like. Depending on the wind, you know, side winds are going to make it a little bit tougher. But with this uh, straight-on wind and uh, minimal wind deflection uh, to the right or the left, hopefully you can get the speed down and, uh, you know, give yourself a very good chance to get that one. I'm going to split this video up, and I'll catch you guys momentarily on the shootouts. 